What's up, friends? Today, I'm going to try to beat Anno 1800 with the strongest enemies possible and also with the hardest settings possible. That means the islands will be way smaller, we will have much less resources on the islands, we will start with less money, we will make less money and so on and so on. If you want, you can slow the video down right here and look at the exact settings I'm doing so you know what changes for the game. But basically everything just gets way harder. Also before you start watching as yes, this will be a little longer, you should get yourself some snacks or anything you like and get yourself comfortable. Um, I already time lapsed a lot of the video, except for the fighting scenes. But yeah, enjoy the video. So here I'm still scouting for a good island because I don't want any rivers, because uh, the islands are small enough anyways. And uh, yeah, here I found one, it has three iron and no river, perfect. But it has only one clay, but it should be fine. Now there's no time to waste, I'm immediately starting to build the city, at least the blueprints for it. And very small wood production because we don't have any workforce anyways and we have to worry a lot about the money. Also if you've seen my other videos you know that I love to build very orderly and also pretty in my opinion. But in this video I'm not gonna be able to do that because I had to rush everything really fast. So yeah, there was no time for beauty. Now as the workforce is coming in, I'm starting to expand the wood production a little. And obviously the next step is to build a fishing hut. And I'm always scouting with my ship because we need to discover the other islands. And hopefully find one with a hop next to us, so we can produce some beer later. Now I'm starting to expand the wood production a little bit, because uh, more wood means faster development and we need to develop as fast as possible. I would build more production, but uh, we don't have enough workforce and also it costs money, so we have to be a little careful. As you can see, we're already down to 15,000 from 25,000 in the beginning. And it's not gonna get more in the next time. Now I'm starting to build the clothes production, which is important because it will give us more workers. And also a schnapps production, because it will give us a little more money, I hope. I'm starting to discover the merchants on the map, which is very convenient. Also now I can complete the quest, which gives me another two and a half thousand, which is pretty good. Now we have our first workers, now we can start building a brick production. It's very important to build it very fast because the production is very slow and bottlenecks all the time. And here I'm looking a little for an island with hop. There I just saw one right next to me. 
this one, yeah. We should take that one and build beer on it. I'm now I'm starting to build a small sausage production. Also not a pretty layout, but as long as it works, it's fine. And there we got another little quest, which will give us a little extra money, which we desperately need. Here I figured I should start to build a little steel and weapons production because my plan is to build some frigates as fast as possible to take down one opponent very quickly because in the beginning I think they are still a little weak so if we get one more big island then we should have a good advantage above the others to be able to defeat them at least I hope so And there we go. The first AI declared war on us, which is pretty bad. I hope he doesn't attack us straight away. I mean, we could pay the 30 theoretically, but we don't have any money. And the other AI just took my island. So, she is going to be the first one who we declare war on. So we have to build our shipyard as fast as possible, so we can even build our ships, obviously. Now our guns and sales production are running, which is very good. So I'm building a fire station next to it just to decrease the risk of fire or explosions. I just got some extra bag from Margaret, our arch enemy. Also, our balance is looking pretty juicy now, plus 500. 
Next objective will be to build a school to advance our workers to artisans because then we can build frigates. But the school will cost us money and we only have 5000 left. And the school costs about 2000 so it's gonna be a close call. And our city is on fire. And by the way, who remembers the old animation when the city was on fire or you discovered ore in Anno 1602? If so, comment. can start building our first frigate. This is very good. And the city is still burning. I could already queue the second frigate. Very nice. And here I'm just picking out some excess wares we can sell. I decided that one cannon factory just isn't enough, so I built another one. Also, we have a little surplus right now, so it should be fine.
And again, sending some excess wares. Oh, I'm just fine tuning the production a little bit because these ratios are really weird. I just have one steel plant and three cannon uh, factories. And that makes everything a little complicated. And I was thinking about building a second shipyard already, but we already have some minus balance and yeah, we probably don't have enough cannons and sails to supply it anyways. I'm surprised that Alonso didn't attack us yet, but... Ah, there he is. It's just two cannonballs. My fleet is a little better. Let's go take care of them. And that was a pretty easy but still glorious victory. We got some picks from him too. We can sell them, so yeah, very good, very good. And our fleet is growing and growing. We could uh, start an attack soon. I scouted the other harbors. Alonso has one defense turret plus the harbor. And Margaret has no defense turret yet, only the harbor. So she would be a good first target. I mean, I wanted to attack her anyways because she took my island, but that justifies it even more. So now the plan is we take our fleet to her harbor. Then we wait till her flagship leaves and when it's far enough away we declare war and instantly start destroying her harbor. Let's hope this works. Also I'm not letting a ship get away so she can take resources to build another harbor. Now I'm also using a little trick I discovered, because when you're attacking a harbor, then it will focus one ship of you. And if that ship leaves, it will obviously start focusing another ship, and then you can Wait till one of your ships is low on health, get it out of range, and get it back in because with lower HP the damage doesn't get lower. It still does the same amount. The flagship is actually coming to help. We gotta focus that first because it does a lot of damage but doesn't have that much HP. Ein 
Schiff wurde zerstört. And this is a really close call. She even built another ship. Let's not let it get away. And this is really good. She just dropped us an item which is worth 16,000 if we sell it. And there we go. We captured the main island. I honestly wouldn't have thought that uh, I would be able to make it on the first try. Now she just got her small island left, so that will be our next target. Our city is also looking pretty good. All our workers and our um, farmers are happy. I'm really surprised how many quests the Admiral is giving us. He is kind of the bro in this session. And now we sold this item and are finally back up over 20,000. We haven't been there since the very start. second big island at first I'm not gonna do much with it I'm just gonna build farmers on it and supply them with some schnapps and then yeah, just get a little extra money from it maybe I'll even go as far and give them some clothes we will see Could have attacked her now already, but I was taking my time, not rushing anything. I mean, what is she gonna do? And look at that epic balance, by the way. I mean, at least it's not minus. I'm just being lazy and copying the whole city layout. Tja, 
Yeah, I kind of forgot that I still put the fleet command on split because now my flagship just rushed in and fight alone. Um, but the rest of the fleet is coming already, so she is not gonna last very long. That we have Margaret completely defeated. The first enemy in our very hard game. I'm really surprised actually that uh, it went so well. And what's even more important about this is that we now have our island to produce beer. Hell yeah! So now our next goal will be to attack Alonso because we're at war with him, anyways. I mean, he declared on us so. It's his fault, technically, that we destroy him then, hopefully. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna rebuild the fleet, because he has a lot more defense than Margaret. He has a flamethrower and cannons, and the flamethrower is especially in the early game. Uh, very, very dangerous, because, yeah, obviously it does more damage against ships from wood. So to counter that, we would have to advance to engineers and build... Uh, yeah, the battleships, but I am going to try to attack him with only frigates. Maybe that will work. But that we are going to do in the next video. Now I'm also starting to raid some pirate ships because they give us really good items that we can then sell again. And yeah, I can do that now because... Look at that. I think we were pretty lucky with this item. Because if I sell it, we just get 90,000. Now we don't have to worry about money anymore. At least for now. And here you can see how Enhardo is just sending her ship straight into my harbor. Very majestic. But well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little different than usual, but 
yeah hope you enjoyed it if so leave a like subscribe and share the video with your unenjoying friends and i would see you in the next one bye bye